you've assigned each student a Google Doc. Now, how do you know who's done work and what work have they done and can you give them feedback before, during, and after the assignment. So the first trick is you want to open up the folder in Google Drive and you can see using the last modified column if students have done any work. If the last time it was edited was when you assigned it, and they probably haven't worked on it. So what can you do? You can open up each one of them individually to see what work they've done. Or you can use alicekeeler.com slash pull the paragraph to pull the text off of their Google Docs and see what everyone wrote on their Google Doc, either during the writing process or after. So here's how this is going to work. You're going to go to alicekeeler.com slash pull the paragraph. And you need to make a copy. Now it is going to take a or so for the code to load. So you're going to look up in the add-ons menu. It might not show up right away. And this is an unofficial add-on. It collects no user data, and you're only going to authorize yourself access to your own data. So go ahead and go up to add-ons and do pull the paragraph and authorize the add-on. Once you've authorized the add-on, go back to add-ons, pull the paragraph, and you can show the sidebar. And over in the sidebar, it lets you choose a folder. Now, you can paste the link to the folder here in this yellow box. You don't have to. Uh, that's just there just in case the picker is not working. So you'll notice when I click the button, it's going to come up and let me choose a folder. So I'm going to do that. I'm over here. I'm going to choose a folder. So I left the yellow blank. It says select a folder. Now here is the key, you want to single click, single click to choose the folder. We're not choosing the stuff in the folder, we're selecting the folder. So single click on the folder and select. So what this is, is a folder in Google Drive that has Google Docs in them, Google Text Documents. So you've assigned students a Google Text Document, all of their work is in a folder in Google Drive. Okay, so now what it is doing is pulling each of the Google Docs out of the folder. This says success. Now, I just made a folder of samples, so they're all kind of similar. This says they're samples 0 through 9. But what you can see is I have a column for you to leave feedback. But if you scroll over to the right, you'll see that each file is the first paragraph, second paragraph, third paragraph, fourth paragraph, and so on. Each paragraph of student work is pulled into this spreadsheet. So notice this saves me a ton of time because I have all the students Google Docs listed on the spreadsheet and I can see all of the text that they have written on there as to whether or not they've written any text and whether or not I need to give them some feedback. So I'm going to go ahead and leave some feedback. Hey, keep working on this. You are awesome. You need a supporting paragraph stronger title and something I'm going to go ahead and drag that down right so I go through I give each student some feedback and I'm going to go back to the add-ons menu I'm going to choose pull the paragraph and I'm going to go ahead and put the sidebar back on you can use the menu options if you want to uh, but you'll notice that as I come down it gives me the option to send feedback so when you're ready go ahead and send feedback and so do you want it at the top of the document? So if you say yes, it takes your feedback and puts it at the top of the document. If you say no, it puts your feedback at the bottom. So how do I decide yes, I want it at the top or no, I want it at the bottom? Usually I put autopsy feedback at the top. What is autopsy feedback? It's feedback after the student thinks they're done, after they have turned it in. So that's their feedback they see on their overall work, your end result, right? So I put it at the top. If I'm giving them feedback to encourage them, like, hey, you're not done yet, you need to have a stronger intro, or just whatever formative feedback I want to give them, I'll put it at the bottom just so it doesn't get in the way of their continuing to work on the process. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes, I want it at the top. And what it's doing is for each of these documents, it's grabbing the feedback and it's going to put it on this document. So let's take a look. I'm going to open up this Google Doc that I assigned and you can see that it has put the feedback at the top. 
so that they can see it. If I open up this one, it should say something at the top. So you see it's just taking that feedback and dropping it right into the student's Google Doc. Now back on here, you can then email them the feedback if students have email. And what that's going to do is going to take that feedback, it's going to put the feedback directly in the email so they don't have to open the document, but also link to the document so they can open it, make corrections and updates, and that feedback will also still be in the document. You do need to do this in order. You need to send the feedback and then email the feedback so that the feedback ends up on the Google Doc itself.